Hey love, welcome back to my channel. Okay you guys, so I am looking a hot crusty mess right now. So what you won't be seeing is this face, okay? I'm doing you a service, you understand? I actually wasn't even planning on filming today, but I was like, you know what? I might as well. Let me just go ahead and film what I'm going to eat today. Now, instead of coffee today, I decided that I wanted to try um, like a little protein shake i guess you would say i've never had perfect keto before they actually sent this out to me i mean a long time ago i mean i actually i need to check the expiration date lord oh yeah okay so it's gonna expire in october but i've had this i want to say upwards of maybe a year <laughs> eight months or something i haven't even cracked it open yet so I was like, okay, let me go ahead and give it a taste test to see if I like it. So, yeah, this is not sponsored. They just sent it out to me, and I'm just now deciding to try it. So, I'm going to go ahead. It's, this is vanilla. They also sent me chocolate. I'm going to just doctor it up from the get-go. I feel like I'm going to make this into, like, a strawberry type of thing. So, I'm going to add some frozen strawberries to this, and just, and um, I think you can mix it with uh, with water or just your favorite um beverage so i'm gonna mix this with some vanilla almond milk and some strawberries and whatever else i decide to put in there and see how it tastes so that's that also later on i'm going to show you what i got in this box this box is also this is from hilo and they sent this to me probably around the same time i got this and um i never opened this up it's, it's been sitting for months i actually lost the box I thought it was in my pantry and I'm like where are those snacks at that I had I was looking for snacks bad you understand and I was like where are those snacks I had I know I had snacks from a company and I don't know where they're at so yeah so today this morning I went in my garage girl I had the snacks in the garage bless it I just saw a box and probably missed this sticker and just saw a brown box and thought and thought i don't know what i thought but i didn't think it was probably snacks so i put it in the garage and i just found it this morning so i'll open it up later and maybe do a little taste test so you guys can see you know what i got <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this shape okay so this says to mix with eight to ten ounces of your favorite beverage beverage so i'm going to use this almond milk unsweetened and it's one card for one cup let me use a little bit more than one cup so we can make this a bigger shake and y'all i love 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 shakes i really do i can actually have these as a meal replacement but i noticed a lot of times when i was like i noticed when i was doing a lot of shakes before I was like getting bloat from them and it wasn't actually the shake I don't think I think it, it might have been the shake it might have been the whey protein maybe I'm sensitive to it or um I don't know if it was the blending action I don't know so I stopped doing it as much but I used to do it all the time and I particularly like the, the regular slim fast one that's in the powder not the keto one the keto one did not taste as good as the regular one to me and the regular one was low in carbs too so i don't understand uh oh i don't even understand what he needed to do a specialized keto one but i really like the regular one a lot but i would give the keto one another try but i don't know we'll see okay so it says just use one scoop the scoop is pretty little that's what it's looking like I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. It smells real good though. Really good. Okay, and then I have some frozen strawberries here that I froze a while back. So I'm gonna put two of those in there. I think each strawberry is around one carb. So we're gonna put, gonna put some juicy ones in there. So I'm going to mix this up first and then add whatever else I'm going to add. Let's see. OK, 
Okay. This little thing works good. I got this, I think, either from Walmart or Amazon or something. And I believe it was like 20 bucks. So I'm going to add about one ounce of some cream cheese. And this will add some thickness and only about one carb. So it'll make it a much more like rich, like an actual shake. And it's only adding about one carb. Now, I don't even know if all of this is necessary because I didn't even taste the shake right out, but that's how I do things. This is how I do it. And I'm going to add a little bit of salted caramel. I really found that strawberry and salted caramel, I've done this kind of combination before with my cheese, creamy cheesecake something shake that I have on my channel already. So I'm just making it kind of like that, but just adding the mix. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Tastes good, but I'm trying to see. I feel like it needs it's like a couple drops of stevia. I'm gonna add. It tastes pretty good though. Okay, so this is the stevia drops that I use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put two. Four. Put five. Oh, that needs six. Oh, you got to be careful with this because, man, it could go from sweetening it to getting medicine like real quick. So, you got to be careful. Let's see now. Y'all, I'm going to add one more thing. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, my gosh. You know, this is my first, this is what I do when I'm testing out, like, little recipes and stuff. I just keep adding things until I get the perfect thing for me. I'm going to add a little whipped cream, not on top, but inside. No, I'm running low on my whipped cream. Okay, just a little bit. I feel like that should do it because that tastes pretty dang on good. And this can actually serve as kind of like a little milkshake if you want to have something sweet like at the end of your dinner. Yes. Okay, you guys. So here's the truth test. I added, I did this as traditional. I added one ounce of cream cheese, about a teaspoon of the Tarani caramel syrup one ounce of cream cheese let's see and it made about 12 ounces that's it that's it bomb it tastes very good it has like a creamy vanilla strawberry type of flavoring I am here for it. And it doesn't have a weird aftertaste. It was another shake I'm going to show you guys that I tried that had a bad aftertaste. This doesn't. I am going to try this again with you guys just by itself to let you know how I like it without everything added to it. But for right now, this is how I did it. And it tastes pretty good. I like it. This would be, I guess, my first meal i guess it's 1240 right now and this is the first thing that i'm having okay guys so the time now is about uh it's 250 and i am a hungry okay all i had was the shake and i wouldn't really classify it as like a uh what's it called like a meal replacement shake because i feel like i was hungry as soon as i finished eating it i really do feel like it'd be great as 
you know, to go along with something that you're already eating or um, maybe it's like a treat. Like if you just want to have something sweet after dinner or something like that, I think it'd be perfect for, but I'm hungry. Let me see if it's supposed to be a meal replacement. It doesn't say that it's supposed to be a meal replacement, so treat it as such because I'm hungry. I'm almost hangry. I don't even know what to eat. But we're going to go ahead and dig into this box. Again, this is from High Low Life. And wow, man, a whole bunch of stuff in here. <laughs> okay, so. It says bring back movie night. It says keto your way. Just because you're counting carbs, just because you're counting carbs doesn't mean that you have to miss out on the things that you love. Enjoy movie night on us, complete with new high low piece of pizza, flavored crispy mozzarella and walnut snack mix. Grab a keto friendly drink, slip on those socks, and cozy up on the couch for a night of high low and chill. Okay, so I didn't know all oh, this was going to be here. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to pull, try to pull this out without making too much of a mess. What? They actually have socks in here? Girl, oh, wait a minute. What? Hold on. And you know what? How about I'm about to have a movie night? Wow, I didn't even know all this was in here. I'm just thinking it's a big box of snacks. Oh, hold on. Is it clothes in here? What is this? Lord, hold on. This is a big blanket. Okay, I was not prepared to do this type of unboxing. I thought this could be just a couple snacks in here. Okay, so hold on. Oh, let me get myself together. So let's first get to the snacks. Then we can do everything else. Okay, so it says keto, your way, high low life, and pizza our way. So let's see. Nice. Okay, so there's a five dollar gift card in there. Here are the high low snacks. So they're pizza pizza snacks so let me go ahead and taste one of these right now because i'm hungry okay so this is it it says keto your way and then it's four nut carbs it's crispy mozzarella cheese and walnuts and it's four nut carbs for the entire package okay Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's walnuts and crispy cheese. Let's see. It does have a really good pizza flavoring on it. I will say that the cheese puffs are kind of like, mm, a little more chewy than I would like. It has crunch, but it's a little chewy. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if it's because it's been sitting for so long. Let's see. Child, mm -mm. it says best before February 1st, 2021. I told you it's been sitting forever. And we in March, girl. Well, it does say best buy. So I'm going to keep it. For those days where I'm starving and I need something, like right now, the taste is there. If you like pizza, you might like them. Oh, it's like little popcorn boxes. How cute. Then it also came with some socks. Like they have really put the whole experience in the box. He has some cute little, cute little high-low pizza socks. Oh, these are cute. I'm going to wear them tomorrow because I'm going to watch a little movie tomorrow. And I'm going to wear them. Oh, and it kind of matches with what I got on. This thing is so soft and comfy too. So soft. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if you can see. But it's an entire pizza blanket and it's so soft. It's like a little microfiber pizza blanket. How cute is that? Oh, that's really nice. Thank you, Hilo. That was sweet. And I'm going to use all of this. I'm using my socks. My socks. I got my snacks. And my blanket. Okay, you guys. So that was my unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and make... Mm, I'm trying to see what I'm going to make right now. Because I'm hungry. Okay? I'm about to make me something. What can I make? I'll be back. So this is something that I thought of real quick that I can make kind of fast because I'm hungry and I know that it'll be filling because I got some avocado. So um, basically I just made two slices of toast with my solar bread, which is two carbs each. And then I made um, kind of like some guacamole really quick out of one small avocado. So I used about half here and I think I'm going to use the rest a little bit later and um, I just spread it over the bread to make some avocado toast and then paired it with two slices of bacon so yes you guys this will be my first meal oh what I wanted to just come back and say you can eat this separately or just make a little taco out of it and put your bacon inside or you know however you want to do it but I just took a bite right now and it was bomb <laughs> Okay, you guys, so the time now is about 5.54. I'm about to start making dinner in a minute, but um, I just came in the house. I did a couple errands, and I went to the 99 cent store, so I thought I'd show you guys the couple of things that I did pick up while I was there. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing I got were these big container of blueberries. You know, the smaller one in the grocery store is much more expensive. I think $2.99 for a little tiny one. Let me show you the one that I did have already that I got at the grocery store. Hold on. This is the smaller one that I got at the grocery store, I believe, for $2.99. And this is the Welch's. Um, how many comes in here? It's a pint in this one. And this one is six ounces and I got this one for a dollar. So I got two of these. These, I didn't eat these fast enough. I don't think that they're bad. You're not, they're not moldy or anything, but they're kind of wrinkly. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and toss these and I'm going to wash these off and freeze them because I do like them best frozen. Me and my son both really love frozen blueberries and I haven't been eating them lately. And when I saw these, I was like, you know what? I need to get back on it and start eating my, my frozen blueberries because I really do love them. So the next thing I got are these skinny cracklins. Um, they did have like the bigger bags for a dollar as well, but I do like the like really crunchy ones like this. My grandma always eat these kind. So, you know, it just reminds me of my grandma. So I got a couple of these and those other ones, I don't know. They just so dry, girl. My mouth be dry okay <laughs> very very dry um and then i also got some ginger tea you guys know i like my tea um i had got some other tea and i just don't like the the way it tastes this is the one that i did get i got this ginger plus probiotics which i like 
you know, that it has probiotics and stuff, but I don't know if it's, I feel like I had this brand before and I didn't have a problem with it, but I don't know. It, it almost feels like it's creamy and I'm like, eh, tea is not supposed to be creamy unless you make it creamy. So I really don't like the taste of this one at all. So I went ahead and picked this up, pick this up because I do know that I like this brand. Um, I also got some cocoa powder um and this is one net carb per serving so just in case i make like a mug cake or something like that i had ran out of my hershey's and i saw this and i'm like cocoa is cocoa okay and it has the same um like macros basically as the hershey brand does so i went ahead and picked that up next thing i picked up was this cauliflower quick cup and i don't know what the heck this is but it says moroccan vegetables harissa and it says it's fully cooked and you just stir and go spoon is included and it has um the cauliflower rice and then this mixture on top <laughs> which i have no idea what it is but for the entire package is 13 carbs with eight fibers. Only five net carbs for this entire thing. I'm not sure how it tastes, but it says that it has cauliflower, eggplant, sun-dried, red hot chili. So I don't, I'm not sure what the heck this is, but I saw it and I was like, okay, let me, it's worth, ah! Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, so that just got me hot and it took me forever to pick that up. But at least it was only a dollar. So, okay, I, and I still have this. So at least I have these. So let's go ahead and move on. Um, the next thing I got was this um, rice cauliflower in a cup. And it says that it's just ready to eat. I don't really know why I picked this up because I know I wouldn't just eat this like ready to eat. <laughs> I'm still going to throw it in the pan and season it up and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe I could just put a couple seasonings in it and it'll be much faster because it's already cooked. So and I am happy to see these type of options in the 99 cent store. Okay, so the next thing I got are these different type of dressings. I just, I just really liked how these were packaged. This first one that I got was, um, this first one that I got is called Yum Yum Ranch and it's kind of like a thousand island type of color. And this one is um, two carbs per serving. The next one that I got was this Buttermilk Romano Ranch and this one sounds really good and it's only one carb per serving. So I definitely can't wait to try that one out. The next one that I got was um, Asiago Caesar and this is with black garlic and I've never even heard of black garlic. Um, but, but this one is only one carb per serving as well. So yes to that. And the next one is kind of like something I wouldn't normally pick up, but I, but I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and try it. I might like it, you never know. Um, and the brand is called Tastefully Dressed. And this is roasted garlic rosemary. And this one is two carbs per serving. So I went ahead and stocked up on these because they didn't expire until like summertime. So I was like, yes, they looked packaged well and hopefully they do taste good okay the next thing i got was not 99 cents it was 3.99 um and they're these um premium garlic onion pistachios i really love pistachios and pistachios are expensive they're typically like six seven eight upward dollars and this was only 3.99 so i did feel like this was a good value um i know pistachio is a little bit higher in carbs so i will you know eat them sparingly but um this one has six net carbs per serving and there's three servings in this bag and yeah i hope that they taste good because i really love garlic and onion both the next thing I got was some sour cream. It was a big old container for only a dollar. So I had to pick it up. And y'all, I have 
lost my mind okay i've lost the best part of my mind because i do not mess with dark sodas but ever since i had that coke zero best friend got me kind of slightly addicted to the soda now i don't I don't even know what's happening to me what is happening to me is my taste buds changing am i changing like what's happening but she ended up telling me when i told her like this epiphany of what's happening to me she was like girl I don't even like flavored like sodas like that she was like but my cousin told me about Pepsi Zero like cherry something or whatever and she was like you have to try it she was like almost like it better than the Coke Zero and I was like what she was like it's delicious I was like okay I gotta try it but so, so when I went to the 99 cent store and I saw it, um, and I think this is the one she said, and I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to pick it up. So I got the cherry and normally I don't do flavor, that type of flavor, vanilla sodas, all that stuff. I really don't do that, but I'm going to definitely try it out because my taste buds are changing, obviously. And I went ahead and got a regular uh, Pepsi Zero as well. And then I just got some alkaline water back here. And yeah, that's that. Um, the next thing I got was this um, tea, wellness tea. And it said Easy Belly. It says Easy Belly wellness tea is a rejuvenating yet calming blend that is best enjoyed after a meal. Taste and discover the lightness brewed in each cup. So... I felt like this might be good, like at settling the stomach and just, you know, helping you with digestion and stuff. So um, it does have chamomile, peppermint, fennel, and perilla fruit skins. <laughs> fruit skins. I'm not sure what that is, but I know that peppermint tea is really good um, at settling the stomach. And so is ginger and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, it has some good ingredients in there. Let me go ahead and try it out. The next thing I got were some crispy onions. I love these things so much. They are, these are three carbs per serving, which is one and a half tablespoons. So, I mean, I don't go overboard with it, but I just love these because I feel like they give a good crunch to your salad or your sandwich or just to something that doesn't have any crunch i feel like i just love to add this it just gives stuff so much flavor to me and um i also put them in my vegetables sometimes as well and it's delicious okay delicious the next thing i got was this chopped salad kit and you know these 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 salad kits cost like three four dollars in the grocery store and the first time i saw one of these um, at the 99 cent store, I picked up like three and I ended up eating them and they were delicious. I think I, I wasn't really doing keto. I think it was like sunflower something and it had like a sweet dressing to it. It was so delicious. So this one, I just decided to go ahead and pick up, um, the Caesar and it has, um, Parmesan cheese, Parmesan dressing, croutons and cracked pepper so yeah definitely check out the 99 cent store for those like chop kits because you're coming up okay it's definitely a come up okay the next thing i got was just this diet cranberry grape juice i feel like i had this in the past before but i don't really remember what it tastes like but um as far as the carbs is two carbs per serving and there's three servings in here so I got this just in case I have like a juice feel I always loved original cranberry grapes so hopefully this does taste pretty good the next thing I got was this um chicken stock and this is organic chicken stock and it was just looked pretty fancy so I just went ahead and picked it up <laughs> And the last thing I got were these um, carnitas. 
um they're fully cooked and i've seen these in the grocery store before and i believe they're between seven to nine dollars something like that when i've been to stater brothers and seen these they're about 9.99 8.99 something like that and it was 4.99 at the 99 cent store so i definitely had to pick this up um i feel like it'll be great and of course tacos or make a little sandwich or quesadilla out of it i've never had it before but hopefully it is good and you know what i never checked the macros on it oh zero carbs sis yes indeed so yeah i'll be doing something with this really soon okay you guys so that is my 99 cent store haul and yeah i'll be back in a couple minutes to start my dinner So as you probably already guessed, tonight I'm going to go ahead and make me some nachos. I've been craving nachos for a minute now and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make this keto friendly, low carb style. Now these are a little bit higher in carbs, probably because mostly the cheese sauce um, for this entire pack, for the entire Velveeta pack, it's like think it is it's seven carbs for the whole thing i'm not sure if i'll be using the whole thing but it's seven carbs for the whole thing and then these quest chips they are um four net carbs per bag so if i use both of these it'll be eight carbs for the both of them so we shall see but i'm gonna go ahead and assemble this together now i did want to use like the dorito kind but um my local Walmart didn't have any, so um, I had ordered it through Instacart and they ended up picking this up as a replacement instead. So hopefully it is good. These are the nacho cheese flavor. I've never had them before, so I'm hoping it will be good. And then I went ahead and browned up one pound of ground beef as well. So I'll be sharing that with Trenton and he has his, he's going to have his with Takis. <laughs> As you know, kids, they love tacos, okay? So I also have some onion and cilantro here and the sour cream that I got from the 99 cent store. I have the guacamole that I had from earlier this morning with my um, avocado toast. And then I have some, um, and then I also have some shredded cheese here. So let's go ahead and get everything assembled.
so here are my finished nachos and i must say they look delicious okay bum <laughs> okay you guys so i didn't use all of the Velveeta cheese i warmed it up and it kind of spread out so what you saw me use was probably a little more than half i gave the rest to my son for him to use on his nachos and we see how those are going right yes, here. Sir. Oh my gosh. Yes, I don't know sir. why he put the meat at the bottom, child. <laughs> but okay, so yeah. Um, so I have here the nacho cheese chips, the Quest chips, um, some ground beef, onions, cilantro, shredded cheese, um, homemade guac, and some sour cream. So let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Let me see, I'm trying to get one. First of all, I need to know if these chips will hold up with all this stuff. You can go ahead, Trent. All right. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. That's it. Sis, if that ain't it. I don't know what's it because right here I feel like I'm just eating pure nachos I mean like if you're used to quest chips you would be in love with this oh my gosh oh I should have took a picture before I messed it up oh well mm mm, -mm. Delicious. Okay, you guys. So I have some projects going on in my house right now, and it required me to empty my entire pantry. So yeah, my house, everything has been straight up crazy. Okay. And I didn't even realize I had all this inside of my pantry. Here is another section of stuff. Another section of stuff. Some more stuff. And some more stuff. I mean, so much stuff, basically. <laughs> so before I put everything in, I decided to try to organize it somewhat. So I bought a whole bunch of organization stuff. I hope that it's enough to just kind of tidy it up. I don't want it, it doesn't have to be Pinterest like, but I want it to at least be tidy. So one of the things that I got was this Who container set. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna put in it at this point, but I did get some labels as well. Um, so I'm gonna take everything out of that and um, wash them and dry them out and try to slowly but surely start doing this because this is just so overwhelming i am over freaking whelmed just thinking of doing it in the first place okay so this one i think was 47 dollars. i got it off of amazon or 43 dollars, something like that it was in the 40s and it had i think all good reviews four or five stars i'm not sure but it a lot of people liked them so i picked that up and then another thing I got is this can stackable can organizer. I wasn't aware that I'm going to have to put it together. I hope it's not hard to do. But anyway, I got this um, recommendation from Do It On A Dime, I think, video. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to try to use this. And then I got a couple other things like from the Dollar Tree and also like DD discounts. I think Ross maybe. No, I might have just been DD discount, all of them. I got a couple other organization things too. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film everything, but I'll show you guys the after once it's done or maybe like little small clips of things as I'm doing it. But this is what my pantry looks like now. I have a total of four shelves and yeah so it's completely empty and i was like you know what instead of putting everything back in exactly how it was try to organize it a little bit tiffany so that is what i'll be doing y'all pray for me because the anxiety is on a hundred okay <laughs> Hey 
guys so i just finished cleaning all of these dishes and yeah i'm already tired i have not ate dinner it's close to seven o'clock so i think i'm just gonna let these dry and then start this project tomorrow because there's no way i can do this tonight so um here are some of those containers that i got from dds these are some airtight like circular containers and then these are the ones that I showed you that was from Amazon and um, I have some other Dollar Tree ones that don't necessarily need to be washed because I won't be putting food in them. I'll just be putting like packages and stuff. So these are all the things that need to be washed and yeah, I'm going to get started on this project tomorrow. Okay, you guys, so today is the next night and I still have not got anything done, you guys, so... Um, you know what? I don't even know how much of this I'm going to actually film because I'm just at a point where I'm just got to do what I got to do. Um, and I don't even know if I'm making any sense right now because I feel delirious. I'm tired, but I said I wanted to work on this for about 30 minutes. I'm, I'm not going to be able to finish it all in one, but I did want to come and say that that set had labels also like a chalk pen inside of it. I did not know that. I ended up buying um, a whole set separate from this. I'm not sure how many comes in here. I don't know if it's just what's here, but that is an awesome thing that it does have it. Um, so just in case you are interested in it, um, this does come with it as well. All of my stuff here is pretty much dry. So I'm going to first just start off with my seasonings. I'm going to wipe down my seasoning bottles and try to put those up as best as possible and then see how much time has went by after that. Okay, guys so it's about a thousand years later and I'm just gonna show you really quickly because I think I only got like a couple minutes on my memory card of everything okay now first of all the first thing I want to say is a lot of these items I was able to get from like the Dollar Tree or from Amazon um, to organize everything which I was very happy about that I am so happy about this project you guys you have no idea it was a lot of anxiety but 
overall i'm just so happy that it's just organized in this way i just feel so good okay so i wasn't going for like super like pinteresty um i was really going for functional so i'm um, functional plus you know cute at the same time so starting at the first shelf i just have like um you know my extracts and stuff like that in there um and then also like any of my little skinny bottles um i got this little tray from the dollar tree i also got this container from the dollar tree um and this has like my little keto bars and stuff inside of it um here is just some protein um powder that i haven't tried just yet that a company sent out to me but it matched these so i just went ahead and put it along with it um here are, are the white teas that i showed you in my previous video i just took them out the box and put them inside of this container which is also from the dollar tree um these little snap um containers i love them because they're stackable and i believe that i got this um idea from do it on a dime if i'm not mistaken but i just put my seasoning packets inside of here like my taco seasonings um you know like any gravy packets and stuff like that in there as well i do have a lot of tea so i put um i so I just basically got another box here for uh, some more teas. Um, these three containers, I got them from Dee Dee's Discount. And you know what? All of those like Pinterest things I saw, they never had like an expiration date or anything. And I'm like, how do they keep track of when stuff is supposed to go bad and all of that stuff? So yeah i i just put an expiration date before i poured it in there i put the expiration date on there and these uh labels they are wipeable so you can you know change it or whatever it's supposed to be wipeable <laughs> so here's some cornmeal i have some brown sugar and rice these are things that were already inside of my pantry and then here i have like my keto treats i have all those candy bars i showed you in my other video i got my lily's chocolates here and then i also have my weathers uh candy so all of my keto treats i had like one of those clippable chalkboards that i got from dollar tree that i was gonna put on there but i couldn't find it for the life of me so I'm just going to go pick up some more when I go to Dollar Tree next time. Um, here I only have one can inside of here because this can didn't fit anywhere else. So ideally, I'm going to use this box for something else, but the can is in there for now. Just some enchilada sauce. Okay, so the next thing I have is this seasoning three-tier tray. So if I'm not mistaken, I did get this from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's awesome. I've been using this for the longest. I just took it down and just cleaned it up a little bit and tried to organize it the best I could. So yeah, this thing is the bomb, okay? And if you can't find it at the Dollar Tree, because I'm not sure, I don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if I got this 100% from the Dollar Tree. So if you can't find it, there then i'm pretty sure they have something like this similar on amazon um here is i have two lazy susans here for my seasonings for more seasonings so i pretty much have a half a shelf worth of just seasonings um the smaller one i decided to use for my more common seasonings that i use all the time which is salt italian seasoning ground paprika uh, black pepper onion powder and garlic powder and then I also put my little stevia drops there and I do use adobo pretty often so I was like okay let me put my most often used seasonings here um here um I just have just all of the rest of my seasonings that I use you know that I use basically so I love just having this lazy susan I've never really had one before and is the bomb okay so this is pretty much the set that i showed you guys from amazon um what i was able to put in there were some pecans also some sweetener um i only had a tiny bit of regular sugar so i just put it in this small container just in case somebody come over here and make coffee and they want regular sugar i have sugar this is stuff kind of like that i already had i have cashews um my parmesan cheese my pork 
rind panko or my pork rind breadcrumbs. And then this is the keto pasta that I bought off of Amazon. And it really didn't have any instructions except to heat it with whatever sauce you're using for five minutes. So I was like, okay, I can remember that. So I didn't really need it. And the expiration date is actually on each package. So that was awesome about that. So I have my pasta there. And then I also had some powdered sugar, regular powdered sugar that I already had. <clears throat> Here, I'm using this like little corner shelf. You can find these. Um, this one is a, a little more sturdy. This is a thicker one. Um, I think I got this from like Dee Dee's Discount or Ross or something like that. Um, you, but they have similar ones at the Dollar Tree that you can use um, for, you know, extra space that I've used before for cans and stuff like that. It might be in a different sh um, shape. They do have just some straight ones. And then they also have some for like the corner and stuff. Okay. So down to our next row, I didn't really know what to do here. Cause I did have some extra space cause I haven't went grocery shopping. So I'm not all the way full. Um, but so I just put my paper cups here, um, and then in this little small bowl, I put, you know, things that couldn't just fall out and because the holes in here are pretty big. And so, um, I put the, my sugar-free jello mixes and stuff. When I do decide to make some keto fluff, I will be, you know, using it out of this little container. I thought that was cute. These are cute. These are from the Dollar Tree as well. These little, um, gold bins are from the Dollar Tree. Now these boxes, they I have them in various sizes. I think it well, I think it was supposed to be a set, but I got them from Dee Dee's discount and they basically charged me separate for each one. So I think the highest one was like $7.99. Then it went to five, six ninety nine to five ninety nine to four ninety nine, something like that. So for the bigger, I think this is the biggest one. I decided to put all my pretty much condiments and bottles inside of here just to have it in one little localized place. So I have like soy sauce, syrups, um, apple cider vinegar, hot sauce, salsa, all of those type of things just inside of there. And then I have this little small tray. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well. And I have just those like popcorn seasonings. I believe these are good inside of vegetables. I think I tried them with vegetables before and that's why I got all these different kinds. I have like um, sour cream and onion, white cheddar and i believe this one the top broke on this one this one is uh garlic parmesan and then i also have some tahini back there and some almond extract that didn't fit in my other container so these three bins they are all from the dollar tree and um this first one after i had organized everything well, let me start with this one. Okay, so this first one is all of like my keto snacks and stuff in here. I have those things that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have um, some nuts here. I have some pork rinds, my Sola um, granola, and everything fit perfectly inside of here. And then here, um, I have all the rest of my little keto stuff. Um, like the xanthan gum, psyllium husk, um, my almond flour, because I'm probably going to send that other one back. I only have like a tiny bit of almond flour. That's why I didn't put it inside of a container. Um, I have my bacon bits. I have some extra bars here. So just anything that's keto related, any mixes and stuff that I have, I put it inside of this container. This next one was after I had put everything up food wise, I had some little small miscellaneous stuff like some croutons, some cup of noodles, um, crispy onions, popcorn back there, all that type of stuff. So I, so I just threw that into a miscellaneous type of bucket. Okay, so our last shelf um, here, are, I put all of my sauces and like, peanut butter round type of like containers and stuff. I put it all inside of this box and just made it two tier um, to try to fit a little bit more in there. Um, this next thing is just some protein powder that I had um, and it was a tall one so it couldn't fit on my top shelf. So I'll just put it down here. 
Here um, I have some mixed drinks, like, you know, those Hawaiian punches and those like sugar-free drinks. Um, I have those in there, also some more teas. And then this top one has some hot chocolate in there and like one packet of oatmeal, just like my little packet stuff. I didn't label that one, but I know what it is. <laughs> Here I just had some plastic like forks and spoons and stuff and I just put them in these little small slider containers which I got from the Dollar Tree as well. Here are my paper plates. And then here's just a miscellaneous box as well. So this is my miscellaneous bucket right here. And then here's my miscellaneous box. These really didn't go with anything um, per se. Um, it's basically some tea, some more tea, <laughs> some um, boxed rice and some salt and some salt and some, I think beef broth or chicken broth. And I also have a couple more things inside of there that's just miscellaneous things that didn't really have a place place. These three containers, I got all of these from the Dollar Tree as well. I think these are called their locker bins. And this first one, I just pretty much had all of my like protein powders, um, Isopure, my 310 protein shakes. And then this just had a similar shape as far as the bag. So I just put this in there with it. It's um, nutritional yeast. So that one didn't really go with it, but you know. And here are my oils. I pretty much have whatever like cooking oil I'm using. I have some popcorn butter. Um, I have all my cooking sprays, some coconut oil down here and also here. And I also have my MCT oil inside of this as well. Ooh, y'all had to stand up for a minute. I don't got the Megan Thee Stallion knees no more. I don't understand. I'm like, ooh. Okay, let me bend down a little bit more. Okay, so this next one these are all of the containers that I pretty much have left over that I can still use for different things. Um, and that they're already washed and everything like that. I didn't have a use for them just yet, but I probably will when I go grocery shopping. So I just kept them in here for now. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to end up being Trenton Snack um, box once I go shopping for his regular snacks his chips and stuff like that so I just left it you know blank with no label on it until I decide exactly what to do with it so well, here is a Dollar Tree laundry basket that I'm using to hold my paper towels it's perfect for you know just storing them they're like it's like the perfect size Here's the canned food rack that I got from Amazon y'all this is perfect for holding your canned goods now the only thing is I thought it was going to hold more than three cans per rack but I mean or per whatever um, section or column but it only holds um, about three standard size cans for each row. So yeah but luckily all the ones that I have fit. And here's a large pan that I use for like seafood and stuff like that. And you guys don't mind my floor I'm not really filming it that much because I am um doing a project right now so it's looking a little crazy so the next thing i have here is like all of my foils um my storage bags and stuff like that parchment paper um and have some freezer paper here and then i decided to go ahead and put like my reusable bags from the grocery store inside of there make put a couple inside and i also have a thermal bag Sometimes I'm going from store to store, so I need something like this to keep my cold items cold. I could probably make this a little bit neater, but for right now, it's good. It's in one section, and I'm happy. <laughs> so, yes, you guys, here is my finished pantry. I'm so freaking excited, and if you were thinking about doing this, I recommend just doing it. It took me forever, it seemed like, but it's all worth it. I just feel so much peace and feel so happy when I open my pantry door now. I'm just like, oh, oh my gosh, I could find everything. It, it was crazy. It was a mess before. So yes, you guys, that's my pantry tour. Maybe I'll be changing up things later. Who knows? But for right now, your girl is happy. So yes, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok at Keto for Show. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.